this 77 Corvette. Had a little problem. Started up the other day, ran for a few minutes, stopped. I'm like, hmm, gasoline smell. I'm like, better get out here and check this. Well, the question is, obviously I need to rebuild the carburetor. I've already gotten it loose, taken everything off, getting ready to lift it off. Um, gasoline's pouring out of the, the bowl vent and all that. So the question is, what happens when your float either sinks or it gets stuck in the bottom of the bowl and you have uncontrolled fuel fill? Well, anyway, I just happen to have a float here. And uh, they're plastic, of course, or you can get the brass ones. Anyway, if this guy here, uh, sometimes they just, I don't know, sometimes the seam fails. Some of these are solid float material, others are metal and they're brass and you can see if they've leaked you can see where the solder has failed i think this is a single piece one this feels like solid solid foam but anyway one of the other things you look for if this happens and this carburetor fills up and then drains down into the engine there's a good chance if you crank it or run it you're going to try to hydrolock it one way to find out pull dipstick out take a look at this and you can see well see how thin the oil is if you notice, it's way past the full mark. It's like up here. And it was full with oil, but you can tell how thin it is. You can tell, look at it, look at the color of it there. It's like water. But it smells like gasoline, so I know the gasoline has dropped down in there. No point in cranking this without pulling the spark plug out. And draining the oil, too, and doing an oil change. But, I'll get to rebuilding this carburetor, and then we'll uh, do a video of that. Dipstick stuff back in. But you can see all the gasoline residue that was in here. This is all filled. You can see it over here as well. Anyway, so I'll get in there and we'll take it apart and we'll see if that float is actually filled with something or if it's stuck to the bottom of the bowl or whatever. But uh, just normal quadrajet maintenance. I've had it happen before. So, in the next video will be me taking that carburetor apart. And of course, you can, you know, we'll find out what happened to the, to the, uh, to the fuel float here. And we'll get it fixed. Anyway, well, all in a day's maintenance.